Hey guys, welcome to another Jungle Spider tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this bar, this rusty metal bar here. This is something I'm working on at the moment. So I just thought I'd show you how to do this all from scratch. Okay, let's go. Open Photoshop, make a new document, 500 by 500. gonna make a background colour, it doesn't matter what it is. I like to have dark background colours. Come to your rectangular marquee tool. Draw out a rectang rectangle just like that. After you've made an all layer above your background as well. Fill it with white. Hold down control, press the letter D to deselect. Come to your elliptical marquee tool. Draw out a circle like that. Make an all layer. Fill it with white. Deselect it. Just gonna move it into place. Hold down control, press the letter J to copy that. Move it over. Come back to us rectangle here, this layer. Hold down control and press J to copy it. Come to edit transform. You won't be able to see this part, but edit transform and go to distort. Hold in shift. You see icon uh, mouse cursor change. Drag it up like that. Press enter. Hold down control, press J to copy that. Edit, transform, flip vertical. Hold down control and click the layer underneath so you've got them two layers highlighted. Hold down control, press E to merge them. Copy that, edit, transform, flip horizontally, bring it into place. Just like that. Hold control and when your mouse cursor changes like this, left mouse click, then Hold control and shift together and then do it to all other layers. So you got all them now. I'm gonna group them, hide it, make a new layer. Come to channels. If you haven't got channels up you want to come to window channels there. Scroll down. Click the square here, right down at the bottom. Click it, hold control, press D to deselect. 
filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're going to have quite quite a big one. Quite a big blur, 9.8 on mine. Click OK. Hold down Control and press the letter L for levels. this up that's okay but you can see it's still like it's still not smooth so we want to come to fil filter blur Gaussian blur again quite an eye blur click OK hold control press the letter L for levels again that's ok that for me hold control when your cursor looks like this left mouse click no you left mouse click in your channels sorry about that then click your layer that means we're back in as layers now we're, we're out of channels uh, come to us paint bucket tool I'm going for this brown here. Color code is 542A13. Click OK. Fill it with that. Deselect. Come to his layer styles. Go into add a bevel and emboss. So we only want a little one. Just like that. Hold down control, press G on that layer to group it and then keeping your finger on control, press the letter E to merge it. So we got that. Make an all layer. Alright, for this part, I'm going to use some brushes that I made myself. Uh, I'll post the link anyway. I'll just show you on my uh, DA account. These brushes here, download them. This dark brown here, colour code is 31B10. Come to his brush tool. I'm going to use this brush that I made uh, where I'm going to give you a link to my DA account so you can download it. Just click in. I'm going to go to a darker brown now. 231209. Make an all layer. Just like that. I like both of them layers. Merge them together. Come to filter, sharpen. Sharpen it once, twice, three times. Hold control and click the layer underneath to get your dotted lines. 
hold control and shift together and press the letter I to invert making sure you're on that layer we've just brushed and press backspace deselect that I'm going to get my dotted lines again make a new layer uh, fill it with black filter artistic sponge you might not be able to see these yeah these settings for sponge just click OK deselect it come to us filters just go through some filters uh, screen looks ok I'm going to lower opacity on it make an all layer get your dotted lines fill it with black filter noise add noise I'm going to go with these settings here deselect filters just go through them. I like that one. Lighten. Low opacity on it. Making all there. Uh, I'm going to choose this colour now. 60, 4D, 35. Come to his brush. Gonna put in a lighter brown, making all there. Uh, I like both of them. Merge them. Filter, sharpen. Filter, sharpen. Filter, sharpen. Filter, sharpen get your dotted lines invert it delete the outside part deselect I like all them layers group them copy that group hide that group merge that group so it's all there no I'm not going I'm not going to make a drop drop shadow by a filter I'm gonna make a layer underneath brush tool just a normal soft brush just like that yeah opacitor black I'm just going to transform this a bit before I do this part. Shrink it. I'm going to see what it looks like if I sharpen it. Yeah, I sharpened it a bit more. Come to this layer we just made underneath. Brush tool, this soft brush. Zoom in. I'm just going to draw in a drop shadow instead of doing it as a filter come back to 100% make a new layer above all other layers come to as, as elliptical marquee tool draw a circle fill it with black deselect copy that layer come to layer no don't copy the layer just get your dotted lines make a new layer underneath that black layer fill it with white deselect 
move to uh, lighten lower opacity on it no don't do all that just make sure you've got your elliptical mar marquee tool and you make this black circle here oh, don't make it black I'm gonna make it this dark brown here keep your dotted lines make an all there fill it with white come to his elliptical marquee tool with arrow keys I'm gonna move down once and right once and then press backspace deselect put it on lighten lower opacitor make an all layer under that we've just made come to us brush pick one of the brushes that I made this lighter brown we're just going to do like similar to what we just did in making that sharpen it a couple of times come to a darker brown sharpen come to a lighter brown Sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. Sharpen. Invert that selection. Press backspace. Your circle that you made. Add a drop shadow. highlight every layer that we've got active group it I'm going to transform it again I always work big and then later uh, you can shrink it down to the size that you want it so it looks better can all uh, zoom in come to his brush tool hard brush one pixel shape dynamics from black Just draw in a line. Like that. Copy that there. 
the one underneath color overlay fill it with white click OK gonna merge that filter move to move it down uh, uh, overlay Two hundred percent. I think overlay might be better for that top highlight as well. I just copied it. Lower capacitor. Make an all layer above all other layers. Brush tool. Choose a different brush that I made. Black filter. Sharpen. Sharpen. Lower opacity on it. Get your dotted lines, invert it, backspace to delete, deselect. Just keep doing this till you got something that looks like rust. Gonna add like a, a warmer brown. Gonna try a filter. Oops. Okay. Get dotted lines, invert it, backspace to delete art side. Gonna lower opacity on that a bit. It's a lot of messing about to get something that looks like rust, but we get the in end if you just keep doing doing this you'll get there Push like. Zoom in, make an all layer above all other layers. Zoom in, I'm just going to add some light rough edges. This is how I've done. I'm gonna bring that draw draw it out. So bring that drop shadow out a bit. Yeah. Make an all layer white. One pixel brush. Set your hardness a bit high. Hundred percent opacitor. I'm going to bring out some highlights.
is all marked to 100 percent I'm going to sharpen that layer twice come to overlay I'm going to copy that then lower opacity on my second one There you have it. We've done. I'm just messing about here. Yeah. So that's it, your rusty metal bar. I hope you've enjoyed it. See ya.